So, do you know the teams from Africa which are playing in this World Cup? Of course, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Namibia. No, 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 no. Football World Cup. Ah. Let's have a look together then. There are five African teams in total that have qualified to this year's FIFA World Cup in Qatar. This is how that number has evolved over the years. The most number of African teams we ever had was six in 2010 in South Africa, which was the first and only World Cup that took place on the African continent so far. That edition's record will be broken in the next World Cup in 2026, where we will have nine African teams through direct qualification and possibly a tenth through the intercontinental playoffs. Now, we will have a look at all the five teams one by one in order of their rankings starting with the lowest. The lowest ranked among the five African teams that have qualified for this year's World Cup is Ghana. As on 25th of August, they are ranked 60th in the world and 11th in Africa. This is Ghana's fourth World Cup appearance. In 2010, Ghana was on the verge of becoming the first African nation to qualify for the World Cup semi-final until Luis Suarez, or should we say Luis Suarez's hand, denied them that opportunity. As luck would have it, Ghana find themselves in the same group as Uruguay this year. Ghana is the lowest ranked team in the stacked group H, which looks something like this. In addition to Uruguay, Ghana has to contend with Portugal and South Korea. Personally, I believe this is the group of death of the tournament, and the odds are against Ghana to qualify to the next round. Having said that, Ghana would love to bury the ghost of 2010 with a thumping win over Uruguay. Moving on, we got Cameroon as the fourth team on the list. As on 25th of August, they are ranked 38th in the world and 5th in Africa. They are the lowest ranked team in another stacked group, Group G, which looks something like this, which includes the perennial tournament favourites Brazil along with Switzerland and Serbia. Needless to say, the odds are against Cameroon to qualify to the next round. Having said that, who can forget the Cameroon side who played in the quarterfinals of the 1990 World Cup in Italy, especially Roger Milla's goal celebration. You can count on this current Cameroon side to set this World Cup alight too. Moving on to the third team on the list, we got Tunisia. As on 25th of August, they are ranked 30th in the world and 3rd in Africa. This is Tunisia's 6th World Cup appearance. Tunisia is in Group D and this is how it looks like. The current world champions, France along with Denmark are in their group, with Australia as the fourth team. Tunisia has never gone beyond the group stages of the World Cup, a record they would like to change this year in Qatar. The second team on this list is Morocco. As on 25th of August, they are ranked 23rd in the world. This is Morocco's sixth World Cup appearance. They are the second ranked African team and they are very much capable of pulling off a surprise win against the heavyweights in Group F, which looks something like this. It includes world number two side Belgium, the finalist of the last edition of the World Cup Croatia and Canada. Morocco has reached the round of 16 of the World Cup once in 1986. However, they failed to do so ever since, a record they would like to change this year in Qatar. Now we have arrived at the first team on this list which also happens to be the first ranked African team in the world and the current champion of the African Cup of Nations, Senegal. This is Senegal's third World Cup appearance and they are playing back-to-back -back World Cups for the first time in their history. As on 25th of August, they are ranked 18th in the world and first in Africa. With Sadio Mane in its ranks, Senegal would like to repeat or even better their performance in the 2002 edition when they beat the then world champions France in the group stages en route to their quarter-final finish. Senegal finds itself in Group A, which looks something like this. The group includes the host Qatar, a European giant in the form of the Netherlands and Ecuador as the fourth team. So, whom do you think? Sorry, cricket game. What did I miss? Mm -hmm.